Hello, welcome to another video. Umut here. Today I'm working on my art journal. Uh, this is um, Art by Marlene's Rainbow Journal. There are several uh, notebooks in it, so this is one of them. Uh, today I'm going to work on a really simple uh, background and page. Uh, I think it's perfect for beginners or for a, a quick page that you want to work on. Uh, I have these three sprays uh, from Distress Oxide, uh, Kitsch Flamingo uh, Spun Sugar and Speckled Egg. Uh, I thought uh, we could create a nice spring page uh, now that we are officially in spring. And uh, you won't believe but uh, in London the weather is uh, almost 20 degrees, sun is shining. Um, it's so beautiful. Uh, so uh, and. Uh, there are my favorite uh, flowers that bloomed on trees, magnolias, magnolias. I love them and every year I look forward uh, for them to uh, bloom. Uh, so here's a picture uh, on a screen actually that I took from the park. Uh, I take a walk. They are absolutely gorgeous. Um, after I sprayed my pages uh, with uh, a bit of uh, uh, three of the colors, I'm going to do the ghosting technique and um, using this stencil I'm using my baby wipe over it to lift off some of the color just to give some interest at the back and I also splash some of the speckled egg. After drying that uh, page uh, I'm going to do some embossing with a white embossing powder. I'm using a script stamp from Penny Black and with my Versa mark I'm just randomly stamping here and there again to create some uh, interest at the back. I'm not going to do many things at the background. I just want a simple happy um, uh, page with spring colors and uh, a nice sentiment to give us all some hope and uh, positivity for today. So I'm just using uh, wool embossing powder in opaque white. Um, wow is one of my favorite brands when, it's com when it comes to embossing powders. Um, I'm just uh, using my heat gun again from wow actually uh, and I'm really happy with it. Um, if you are looking for a heat gun uh, that works it has two uh, heating uh, options. One is uh, really hot and uh, speedy and the other is cold and slower. Um, and it has different uh, uses of it. Uh, I'm just heat setting it and now you can see the white uh, script at the back. And uh, also I'm going to use the same stencil to do some to give some darker color at the back. Uh, this is cauliflower blue from archival. Uh, so it's going to be permanent. And I'm just simply going over it with my um, blending tool. With this I'm going to be done with the background. Uh, as I said I'll keep it uh, really simple this time. Um, and uh, next is my focal point. Of course my focal points are magnolias. Um, I did a fast and do a lot of fussy cutting a while ago uh, when I bought my scrapbook papers um, and uh, cut out these beautiful magnolias to use them in spring actually. And uh, here is the time. So I'm doing a composition on the right side of my page going heavy with all these flowers as if they are coming from a tree. Um, and if you are wondering about this paper, I did a paper uh, haul uh, a while ago uh, and I'm going to link the video down below for you to see uh, many papers including this one where and how I get, got them. Um, and I hope that will help. Before I glue everything, I'm just seeing uh, how my composition looks. After I finish with this, I'm going to glue them one by one. If you're scared of uh, not remembering where things were, just take a picture <coughs> with your phone and then you can uh, glue everything down. And I made a little cluster uh, at the opposite corner as well, just to balance things out a little bit. And I'm doing some green splashes with other green uh, oxide uh, sprays um, to bring everything together because we have the green leaves uh, on the other page. I think it looks really nice like this. And of course let's do the white splashes too with a watered down uh, gesso. Last thing is uh, details and my sentiment. 
My sentiment is beautiful and I cut it uh, and I printed it with my label maker and I am cutting it into pieces so I can place it on my um, on the whole of the left page. Um, <clears throat> it's a long sentiment. It says life is not about the amount of breaths you take, it's about the moments that take your breath away and it's uh, I think one of the most uh, beautiful things and uh, you know uh, correct things that I heard um, and I just wanted to put it with this uh, light breezy spring uh, page um, and uh, you know I sometimes look at the pages that I do to lift my mood up to you know remember what matters uh, your health, your loved ones, and uh, the rest is detail. Um, and uh, the details I made on this page uh, are, I think at that stage my battery ran out, so I did the rest uh, myself. I drew a little border on the uh, corners of my page with a thin black pen, uh, just to give a bit of movement and border my page. Uh, I uh, did white highlights all the, to all the flowers and my sentiment, the big parts of the sentiment, uh, which I uh, stamped. And I went around my, the printed parts of my sentiment with black pen again, just to make them more prominent. And here is uh, the page. I think it's uh, very beautiful, uplifting, uh, with all the pastel colors of the spring. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a comment, a like or subscribe to my channel. It really helps. And uh, I hope to see you next time.